New at 11, scared, anxious, and desperate for the shot. Floridians still traveling hundreds of miles from home just to get the vaccine. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. More people are traveling out of state despite more vaccine supply and more vaccine sites. ABC 27's investigative reporter Katie Legrone tells us why. At this Florida vaccination site, COVID-19 shot seekers go through an assembly line of sorts to get their dose in the arm. This Tampa location, one of the state's recently opened FEMA supported sites. Here, supply is actually exceeding demand. We're using about 2,500 of our 5,000 allocation. Across the state, a vaccine supply is for the first time becoming more bountiful with more than 400,000 doses shipped here each week, according to the governor. Despite more vaccines and more sites offering them, we're just leaving Pinellas County. We find Floridians still making treks across the state just to ensure dose. If you want it bad enough, you'll travel. But on the day 73-year-old Gail Barons was to drive three and a half hours to get her shot, she got a last-minute appointment closer to home. We're on our way to Duval County. Richard and Lauren Smith weren't as lucky. Last week, the Pinellas County couple made the nearly four-hour drive from home, spending the night in Jacksonville just to get their first shot. This is home video of the road trip. Finally, get my COVID vaccine. Yay. 63-year-old Richard has kidney disease, half his lung function, and requires a series of daily meds and breathing treatments. I want to make sure that I have everything. Once he became eligible for the shot, the only appointment they could find was north. It's safer to <laughs> go someplace where we feel that we have a reasonable chance to get the shot now that we've met all the conditions. It's lengths the desperate are willing to take after a vaccine rollout critics say has been fraught with a lack of communication, confusion and chaos. The distribution plan did lack a plan initially and it's been getting less bad. In fact, it's actually been getting better. University of South Florida public health policy expert Dr. Jay Wolfson points to two reasons he believes better is here. We have more product being produced by not just two, but by three manufacturers. Second thing, we now know not just a day in advance, but about a week or two weeks in advance, how much product is going to go where. With supply up, eligibility is widening. The governor announcing everyone could be able to get a shot by sometime next month without hopefully having to travel the distance to get it. As for doses going to waste, either through spoilage or getting broken, according to the state, it's under 4,500, meaning 99.9% .9 of the vaccine has been administered without issue. Katie Legrone, ABC 27, investigates.